Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do an everyday makeup routine video for you guys because I haven't been on here in a long time, I know, and I really apologize for that. It's been like two months, I think. So this is my first video in two months and I have been doing pretty much the same makeup every single day and I really, really love it. It's like a great everyday look in my opinion. So I really wanted to share that with you guys in hopes that maybe it'll be helpful because I know it's really hard to like get into a routine with makeup because there's so much out there. But I found some products that I really, really, really love for like an everyday look. So that's basically all we're going to be doing today. It's an everyday like natural, very wearable look. So yeah, if you want to see how I do that, I don't have anything on my face right now, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off with primer. I like to use two. I've been loving this LeBlanc de Chanel primer. I've had this for a while, but I haven't really used it that much, but I've been using it a lot lately, and I just think it's amazing. It's very, very white, and it's really, really brightening, and it's also illuminating. I have, like, pretty dry skin in the winter, and this winter my skin has been, like, crazy dry, so this is, like, hydrating without it feeling like oily or anything and it's also a little tacky just a little bit so it makes the makeup like really stick to your face well so I just really really like this primer and if you see my face is getting red it's not from this at all it's just from me rubbing my face like my skin is so sensitive the next primer that I'm going to be using only on the areas that I feel like I need it is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I really, really like this primer. It's gotten a lot of hype lately. I think it definitely works and I think it's really nice. But if you do have dry skin, I would suggest like avoiding those super dry patchy areas, you know, because otherwise it can look a little like crusty and flaky. Like I definitely don't like doing it around my nose because that's where my skin is dry. But I do it like where my pores are the worst, which is right here on my face. And a little bit on my chin, my nose, just a tiny bit. Be careful with this product on your nose. For some reason, it makes my makeup separate a little bit right there and a little bit right there on my forehead. But if you guys are not new to my channel, like you would know that I never usually use blurring kind of primers because of the silicone in them. It really clogs your pores, but this doesn't have that in it at all. This is not clog my pores. It doesn't feel like those primers. This just blurs out your imperfections pretty nicely before you put on your foundation, which I really, really like. Next for foundation, I've been using this literally like every single day. It's the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. And I really like to apply a little amount. You don't feel it on your face at all. That's what I love about it so much. You like seriously don't even know that you have foundation on. And it also doesn't make me break out or clog my pores at all. It's very, very lightweight. I think it's like water-based. It says it's peptide infused, light diffusing, and paraben free. I don't know, but I think it is water based because it is so liquidy. But I just know that it's amazing and it hasn't given my skin any problems. And I highly recommend this for like everyday use. So you're gonna wanna shake it really, really well because it is so like liquidy. And I just do like one pump and I just dot that all over my face, especially right there. I have like a scab scar thingy. So a little procedure, something removed off my face, so if you see like a gross scar or a scab, that's what it's from. Hopefully it'll go away soon. Don't know though. And then I've really been loving this brush for foundation lately. It's the Zoeva 104 Buffer Brush. Somebody commented recently on like one of my older videos like that I never mentioned which brushes I'm using, and you're right about that, and I'm going to start doing that so that you guys can check them out yourself. I'm just gonna dab this all over my face in a pouncing motion. I'm in the shade 1.0, which is like the lightest, I think. I don't know how I got this pale, but it happened, and you know, I'm just gonna work with it. So as you can see, it pretty much evened my skin tone really, really well. It is so lightweight, you guys, like it's not tacky or sticky or anything like that. I don't know, I would say this is like a satin finish and I just really, really love it. So if I do have any like blemishes peeking through because they're like hard to cover, I will just put some concealer like that. And I'm also going to dot some concealer under my eyes. I haven't been using much at all. Lately, just a small amount like that, just 
dotting it and then just blend everything out even for underneath my eyes I've been using this brush I know it's crazy because it's so big it's been working really really well and it's also good if you're like in a rush and you don't have time to like change a million brushes like this one has been working really good for foundation and concealer for me so I'm just gonna blend all of that out I completely forgot to mention this is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I just really like this for like a natural look. I think it's beautiful and I'm in the shade Fair for like underneath my eyes and stuff. So next I cream contour super lightly. I use the Makeup Forever palette. This is the Pro Sculpting palette in the shade 20 and as you can see I really like this contouring shade so I like to use that just to give myself like a natural chiseled effect without using like so many powders, you know what I mean? So my favorite brush to use that with is the Sigma F55 Duo Fiber Brush. I just lightly blend that where I normally would contour. I always make sure to do my jawline because I like it to look sharp. And something that I've been doing lately, which is kind of weird, is I like to spray some Evian after I use all my cream products and then I put my powder and then I spray it again. I don't know why, it just makes my skin look extra like healthy and natural looking and I've just been loving it so I'm going to do that now and then I wait like a minute for it to dry. Okay, so to set my makeup, I just very, very, very lightly use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder with this really big Luxie 502 large powder brush. I just use this for everything, even for underneath my eyes on like a daily basis. I really don't go crazy like setting my makeup. I just want it to look like skin, so I really don't like using a lot of powders. So I will just like really lightly dust this everywhere and like try and get underneath my eye. But I really haven't had like a creasing problem or anything because I do use such a small amount of the concealer underneath my eye that it's like not an issue. When I use like a lot and I don't set it, that's when things get weird. The reason why I even set it at all is just to set like all the creams and liquids on my face so they don't like slide around throughout the day or like if I go and try and do my bronzer on top of that cream contour with a brush and try to like blend, it's going to look really muddy if you don't like set it at least lightly with some translucent powder. That's just a tip I've learned from my mistakes I've tried to not set before. Trust me, it did not look good. So next I'm taking a Luxie 502 large powder brush. This one's like more tapered. Towards the top, I like to use this for bronzing, and I'm using my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. In case you're like surprised, I use this in like every video. This is my all-time favorite bronzer of life. It looks like this. I need a new one. This is in the shade O2 Medium, and I basically just go to town bronzing my face because, as you can see, I need some color in my life. And I always take my brush afterwards and just like blend that all over my entire face so that there's no like harsh lines or anything. And like I said, I just want this to look natural so that's what I do. So I don't use blush at all with this look and I know that's like the biggest shocker ever because I always use blush. I don't remember the last time I didn't. But I do highlight, and I don't highlight like crazy. This is a very natural like beautiful glow in my opinion. And I use the ambient lighting palette. I just use the shade Incan Incandescent. Incandescent? Don't know how to pronounce that. But it's the shade right there in the middle. It's so beautiful and I love using this brush because it's like super fluffy. This is the Morphe M510 brush and I just just dab that in there. And I just go to town with that. And because I don't use blush, I feel like there's more room for me to highlight. I really like going almost to the apples in my cheeks and just making it look, I don't know, I just want to be lit. Like, is that a crime? Let me know. 
And lately I've especially been highlighting like extra like right on the highest point right there. Then I blend it out like to the apple of my cheek. See that? Gorgeous. And then I just hit the nose a little bit and the forehead. You know, got a glow out here. Look at this. The Cupid's bow. Even though I'm going to probably overline the shit out of my lips. And my chin. My chinny chin chin. Because you know, I just want everyone to just be focused on that chin right there. Do you see this glow? Like, it just looks so lit and natural. I love it. And then I'm going to take the same brush and this like more bronzy glow shade and literally just like sweep it over my lids very, very sloppily. Just to give it a little something. And this is like another shocker because you guys know that I've been using the Anastasia brow products like all my life for my eyebrows. But lately I've been really loving this Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Pencil. Um, I'm not sure what shade this is. This is in the shade 40. And it reminds me of the ABH Brow Definer. But I just like this one a little more. I'm not exactly sure why. I didn't really like it when I first tried it but I kept using it. And I ended up falling in love with it. So, so you guys should definitely like not give up on things if you don't like them like the first few times because for some reason I feel like I just learned how to use it better. Especially for like every day. Like this is what I do. I just line the bottom of my brow first on both sides to just kind of like map out where that's gonna start. Already like see how much more definition that gave my eyebrow. And then I'll do the tops of them a bit. And then I'll fill in the sparse areas super lightly. This is not like a crazy bold brow. Maybe it might look like it to you guys because I already have dark eyebrows to begin with. But believe me, I could go darker. Have you seen my other videos? <laughs> and I really like to focus on the front of my brow to make that look fuller and more messy. I really like the messy brow look, you know, like the editorial look. That's my favorite. If you guys have seen my soap brow video, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not doing that today. That's more for like full glam or like when I'm really going like no makeup makeup and I want my brows to look crazy, I do that. But for every day, I don't have time for that. Like, I just like using this. It's quick and easy and it does the job. So I really recommend this product. You guys should definitely check it out. It's just so like blendable. Like with the spoolie, like it just looks really natural and pretty in my opinion. And now what I like to do before I do my mascara so that it doesn't like run off my face is to spray a good amount of some Evian again and let it dry for like a minute. A healthy amount. My hair is wet. That's how much I put. So for lips, I've been using this lip liner like every single day. I gotta sharpen it. It's called Blushing Nude. That's a shade and it's the It Cosmetics Your Lips But Better. That's exactly how I would describe this lip liner. Literally, your lips but better. And it comes with a little sharpener which I really greatly appreciate. I don't think they understand how much I appreciate that because most lip liners don't. And I'm just gonna overlay my lips a little bit because I just want to. I've honestly been considering getting lip injections lately, you guys. I never thought that I would consider such a thing, but why not? Nothing like crazy, something subtle, but I just feel like I would really like it, you know? So why not? I feel like people should do what they want to their bodies as long as it makes them like really happy. My point is like I overline my lips anyway every single time I do my lipstick or lip gloss or whatever. So it would be really nice to just like wake up with them overlined already so I didn't have to do this. Um, I mean I don't have to do this, I choose to. I should choose my words wisely but I just like the look. Like it's just what I like, it's what I prefer. Um, and I'm not going to talk now, otherwise I'm going to mess it up, so give me one second. And just to let you know, again, I've mentioned this like 
a million times on my channel. Major key to overlining your lips. Please listen. You're going to want to overline mainly right here in the cupid's bow area on the very tip and right here at the very bottom. Always connect to your natural lip line on the sides. If you overline the whole thing, it looks super clownish. I've done many trial and error. Believe me guys, this is like the best way to do it without it looking like overkill, super, super fake. So now that that's nice and lined, I'm going in with my Too Faced Sweet Peach Lip Gloss. I'm absolutely in love with this lip gloss. You guys know I'm not a gloss girl, like I never ever ever wear lip gloss, but I've been loving this. It tastes, smells, and has like peach in it, and I love peaches so much, and this one's called Papa Don't Peach. I have all the shades I think, but this one, there's just something about it that is so amazing. And it's not just the color, the formulation of these glosses is like unreal. It's so different than any other lip gloss I've ever used. It's not sticky at all. It lasts a really long time. It just feels so like nourishing and hydrating. I just really love it. I think it is like super hydrating actually. This is definitely a new product for me, but a lot of these products that I've used today, um, aside from like the milk makeup, I've used in the past and I loved, but like I forgot about them because you know like when you buy new makeup you forget about like the old products you like. So that's what I did, like I tried some older products that I used to like and I fell in love with them all over again and that's why I changed up my routine into using like these older products instead of always buying new products and trying new stuff out because you know sometimes we forget about the old stuff and they're still really really good, old but gold, so you gotta go back to it sometimes. This is new that I've been using, like new to me at least. This is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. I've just been using this recently and I really, really love it. It has like an amazingly thin wand which really gets like every single lash and it's really good for lengthening. When I have this kind of like natural look like every day, I like my lashes to be super separated and long. I'm not really looking for like crazy volume or anything like that because that kind of like overpowers the look. But when your lashes are like really long and like separated and like kind of spidery looking, I just feel like it looks a lot prettier and everything is like uniform and just pretty. I don't know. I love it. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. So that is the difference of that lash right there compared to no mascara. I just really feel like without mascara, like your look is not complete. Like I'm obsessed. And lately I've also been hitting my bottom lashes a little bit. That's another thing I've been changing. I used to hate bottom lash mascara, like any mascara on my bottom lashes. I felt like my eyes looked too big and spidery, but I noticed that just applying a tiny amount goes a long way and it looks good. I used to put too much. I think that's what the problem was. So I'm going to just finish my other lash and hit my bottom lashes real quick and I'll get back. So this is the completed look. Super simple, but still like flawless. Like I feel very comfortable going out like this. Um, I just really love these products. I think they last really well on the skin and I think they're beautiful. I love them so much. This is definitely like a staple everyday makeup routine for me at the moment. And yeah, I really hope that you guys found this helpful. I'm sorry that I talked too much in this video probably or I was like blah. Um, I haven't done this in a while, in two months. And that might not seem like a long time for you but it was a really long time for me and it's hard to like it's kind of hard to get back into the swing of things, you know, so I'm really trying and I was even a little bit nervous to film today, which like never happened to me in my life. I'm always like really upbeat and excited, but I was just like, uh, I was kind of just like, uh, I don't know if I should ever even make another video. Like I've been gone for so long already, like no one's going to notice. But I just realized like it's not about any of that. It's about me. I just really love doing this. It's my passion. It's really fun for me. And yeah, I hope that you guys stick around and enjoy my videos in the future. If you have any suggestions like video requests, please leave them down below. And yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say except I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Even though I've been gone for so long, I really appreciate you coming back and I will see you guys next time.